All right, y'all. So your girl cannot come to Nash and not do just a little tad light work of some thrifting. So we're going to go up in Music City Thrift and see what we find. Music City Thrift. things I like to do when I come to Music City Thrift is I like to go towards the back of the store and then work my way to the front. I saw this really cute blue little animal print bag. I didn't end up getting it, but they did have all of the swimsuits on this side of the store. And I like to find the one piece swimsuits just because I know I can wear, you know, my underwear underneath them and kind of wear them um, as a bodysuit. And then I also look for really cute little swim tops just, you know, to mix and match with some of the bottoms that I already have. So super cute from this side of the store. And then I did see this really cute denim jacket. I really like the color denim on this one. I didn't end up getting it, but she was super cute. I saw this really cute little white cover up top, real flowy, perfect in the summertime. And then this really bomb chocolate fitted dress. Now I'm working on my little mid section girl to get in it, but super cute. And then you can't go wrong with a black dress. I was going to wear this to a retirement party, but I ended up grabbing it. And then I really like this little, I don't know, girl cropped texture, white top, super cute. These heels, girl, I didn't end up getting them, but I did love the red and purple kind of mix. So definitely inspired. These super cute um, camouflage pants, definitely grab those. And then I saw these hot pants, misguided girl giving Barbie trend. So I grabbed the misguided pants and this was all that I ended up putting my hands on at Music City Thrift. It wasn't a whole lot in the store. Well, not a whole lot that I grabbed, girl. But then I went on ahead on it to Southern Thrift, one of my favorite stores when I go to Nashville. They had some really bomb items in the front of the store. I believe this was like a little cover up wrap. Super cute. I love the colors on it. I think it was a size 4X, but I didn't end up getting it. But girl, the dress section was just giving me all the vibes. Now this little nasty gal dress was super cute. I wasn't a fan really of the prices because in Bama, it's a whole lot cheaper than when I go. It seems like to other states, but I loved this dress super super cute they had this other dress i believe is another nasty girl dress i ain't really like this one if she was a bit longer and maybe a different fit towards her i probably would have got it but for eight dollars i did end up leaving it i love this dress even though it had a stain on it it was super cute it was an asos design dress i ended up leaving it in the store because it did have like a little spot situation going on with it but definitely love the color this dress was another cute find i was thinking about this for work girl maybe even down to the church with a good little clean iron on her girl this dress was $16.99 i didn't get it. it it wasn't it wasn't given enough for me to get it for 16 girl 99 but you know i love vintage dresses super cute now this dress i did grab and i grabbed it simply because the collar was different i could rock it for work i could rock it to church i really really love this now i'm gonna figure out my shoe situation probably have to rock me some new heels with this because it'll be kind of hard and i got black in it either black or nude but for 18.99 i did end up um picking this dress up and i love this like little cummerbund belt type situation with it super super cute but i love this little rusty gold um color but again y'all it was really the collar on this dress i absolutely um love the collar on it i saw this really cute little chocolate dress i grabbed it i think it was like maybe a 1x or a 2x really really cute um i love the little chocolate sh sheen on it super bomb so i grabbed that patrice girl this blazer it, i can't girl it was i don't know if it was giving me teapot i don't know why i was feeling like it was giving me teapot <laughs> but girl i love the pink and the blue in that blazer so i did grab it then i saw this really cute little I'm, girl i'm calling this a little party dress but girl this orange color super bomb i could see this you know at night girl i could see it on vacation even at night this little orange is super super cute 
And then I love the little fringe that's going to be hanging off on your shoulders. Super bomb. I did end up grabbing it, and it is an ASOS dress, so, you know, the quality is pretty good on her. She was $20.99. Girl, again, I grabbed it. Then I saw this bomb denim coat. Now, you know, I shop all seasons, no matter what time of year it is. Girl, you got to be prepared for the fall and the spring. Now, I love this coat jacket, but I didn't get it. I ended up leaving her in the store. Um, and then I saw this one right that was right in front of it, and I love the colors on it. I ended up circling back to try it on just to see if I would really like it. She was super cute, but I did end up leaving that one. Girl, I love the colors in this blazer. It's definitely giving me beach. It's giving me palm, girl. And the orange colors in it, super bomb. So I grabbed that blazer, and then, girl, I saw this red leather, 100% leather coat. Oh, my gosh. I tried this bad boy on in the store, you guys. It does have that little spot right there on it. But, you know, of course, probably wouldn't resell it. But, girl, for me, I had to grab it. And then I definitely had to try this one on. Super cute, y'all. I told you. Super bomb. That dread, that coat is everything. The fit on it, plus it has the shoulder pads in it. I loved it. Love, 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 loved it. Girl, they had me down to these people's store, girl. I was so tired. <laughs> <laughs> but then I grabbed this blazer. I love the colors in it. It was $5.99. And I love that the fact that it had the pockets in the front. Super cute, even with the little pop of purple. Then, girl, the infamous pink dress that I found. Girl, Music City Thrift, I mean, Southern Thrift Girl had all the dresses. I knew it was a size six, but I felt like, girl, somebody would love this dress. And I've had quite a few people ask me about it. I got it for $18.99, like I told y'all in the video. But y'all see, she's super cute. This little two-piece set was another piece that I grabbed. And I think this set would be really cute with a pop of color. Um, and I think, like, maybe, like, an orange, um, even a um, green would be really, really nice with it. So, I did end up grabbing that two-piece set. And I saw this really cute little bomber jacket suit section piece, girl. Super cute. But it was definitely given, like, size zero. So, I ended up leaving that one in the store. And I saw this really cute long wrap skirt. And I love the fringe on the bottom. These skirts would be super bomb if you got them with um, a graphic t-shirt. So, I definitely grabbed that skirt and then this skirt even though it's kind of showing blue it's it's really purple so i love this purple skirt with the black polka dots again it's another one that you can definitely rock you a uh, graphic tee with it and i saw this really cute orange dress it's definitely cut out all over on the sides and then the back so i would rock like a really cute bandeau top with it um the color is not really showing as bright orange but that one was super super cute y'all my basket girl was like overflowing with all the things i had to go through and do me a little piece of edit but on my way out i saw this really cute nude blazer it's an h m blazer y'all already know your girl is gonna put on the nudes i love an all new monochromatic look super bomb y'all this blazer with the gray silver sheen in it it would be perfect for a renaissance look um i had one the last time that one sold but i found another one girl i absolutely love this blazer i don't know i may end up having to keep this one but y'all i ended up spending close to 200 dollars down to this store typically that's not normally my you know my budget price range but girl super cute and then y'all i ended up back down to them people unclaimed baggage this past weekend and i only can go like once every couple of months but girl unclaimed baggage like i said i know it's very controversial for a lot of people they feel like you know they air you know this store stole they stuff they they didn't get the stuff you know from people unclaiming their baggage y'all this store has been around for ages when i tell you it's been around forever the history of it it's been on the news it's been broadcasted everywhere y'all the store is truly legit people for whatever reason they tend to just unclaim their items i don't know i hope and pray that you know if you lost your luggage you would definitely have filed a claim and received compensation going forward please keep receipts if you have especially if you have you know your high dollar items that you you know tend to carry with you i don't personally put my high dollar items in my luggage those items definitely go in my carry-on book bag backpack whatever but y'all the store exists it's bomb
back to almost lost her mind when I saw this Versace robe over in the pajama section. I had the mini try it on. It was a little too short on her arms, but girl, I tried it on and I fell in love. Now this was $287. I saw it um, on in store and it was like five, $5.50, I think. And then I saw this really cute little two-piece set. This one is like a small, extra small, super bomb, giving me clueless Barbie vibes. They had this ASOS um, denim dress that I put my hands on, super cute. I ended up grabbing this dress. Girl, I loved it. It was $10.99. So that was one of the items that I did end up finding. And then, y'all, they do have a section in the store that they put behind the jewelry um, with all the luxury items. So you can get from luxury bags, luxury clothing items. They have a little array of everything in the store. And then I was shocked to see that they even had a section that was on the floor with even more luxury items. So they ended up having this red Versace um, robe. I didn't end up getting it. Super bomb. And then they also had a black one in there. They all were the same price. They were the um, $287. But I, I, I rode around with that pink one in my cart. But I did end up leaving it because, of course, girl, I didn't need it. But I did see these Jeffrey Campbell shoes for $45. Super cute. I ended up trying them on to make sure... Um, that they were going to fit. Girl, super comfortable. Loved them. I saw these green Public Desire heels. I wore them this past weekend with a Target two-piece set from Alani Noel. Girl, it was super, super cute. I saw these little green, uh, green girl, these orange um, strappy heels. They were super cute. They were only $8.99, so I did end up grabbing the orange ones. They had these really cute um, Aldo pink, hot pink heels. These were $12.99. I did end up grabbing these because, girl, I guess everybody's loving the hot pink. They had these really cute Fashion Nova heels. I ended up grabbing them. I love, girl, anything kind of animal print. And they were super bomb. And then I'm just showing y'all that I had that Versace uh, <laughs> robe in my um, cart, girl. Then, girl, they had all the piece of bags. I was in love with the bags. Girl, I found this Brandon Blackwood bag for $45. Still had all the tags, everything attached. Super cute. My first um, Brandon Blackwood bag. I was so excited about it. Then, girl piece of Marnie. Girl, they had a Marnie bag. And I be thinking to myself, like, sometimes these people really don't know probably what's really in the store. Because I be like, why is this stuff still on the rack? But they, hey, more for me. I grabbed this one for $136. I saw the Super Bomb red velvet bag. The hardware on it was really hard. Super, super cute. This bag was $10.99. I definitely grabbed it because that pop of red and then that velvet texture. Super Bomb. And then, girl, they had a Kurt. I grabbed this Kurt bag. This Kurt bag um, was $65.99. Girl, I love the color on her. I love the tone on tone. So I definitely ended up grabbing me, girl, piece of a uh, Kurt bag. And it even had um, the actual tag on the inside of the bag. Because I was like, what is that black thing sticking out? Girl, it was a tag um, from the bag. So I definitely was happy that I was able to find it. And I think I saw that the retail on it was like $215. They had this really cute INC blue. I hope the, I don't know if the color is really coming up. I contemplated on it, but then when I held it, um, I saw that little spot in the top and then I didn't want to spend $30 on it. Maybe if it was, you know, that $15.99 range, girl, if it was $15.99, your girl would have probably grabbed it. And then on my way out, I saw this really cute pretty little thing shimmer gold skirt um i did end up grabbing it on my way out the store and girl i ain't even gonna tell you how much i spent down to them unclaimed baggage i usually don't go that often girl i have to go once every couple of months because girl they get all my coins every single time i go to this store so i can't go often because your girl spends way too much money but it's in scottsboro alabama if you're interested thanks for watching